My name is Astrid Ravel, and I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm 66 years old. Two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with ALS. I had had symptoms for a whole year, but nobody could really figure out what they were about. Uh, so I would say for three and a half years now, I have had symptoms that have progressed slowly, actually. I've had periods of stability, and then I dip and I lose some abilities and then I stabilize again. Uh, when I came to Excel Center last year, I had experienced a down spin. And uh, I was, I felt like I was losing ground more rapidly than I had been before. So the first thing I noticed after the treatment uh, was that that downward spin stopped. I, I felt that I stabilized again. Uh, I, I had been going to the pool, but getting more tired. And the f I think how I regained my strength was by very slowly going to the pool two or three times a week. And every time I would add a couple of repetitions. And after a couple of weeks, I added an extra routine for the legs or for the arms or and after about three months I had a pretty good routine going and I felt vigorous and strong in the water well, in the water I felt totally free and uh, I was strengthening my muscles and I started to notice at home for example I could stand up from my wheelchair that before I could not and that it's a small thing, but it made a big difference because I could be by myself. I could uh, use my power chair and I knew I'd be able to get up and take a couple of steps and lie down in my bed and the other way around also get out of bed and walk to my chair and wheel myself to the bathroom and stand up and take the eight, nine steps haltingly but surely, and it gave me a lot of independence, you know, it, uh, it made a big difference in my sense of freedom, of not having to have someone all the time. Uh, also, uh, I did a lot of abdominals and with my gluteals, and that started to pay off because I could turn in bed, one side did the other, and. Uh, it was less tiring because I could shift around and, and it made me feel that I had some control. Another little thing that I could do was when I was in the car, I always had to wait for someone to open the door. And now I could, with my knee, I could push the door halfway open. And then I wiggle around and push it with my foot. Uh, and it felt very good instead of feeling trapped and telling someone, oh, please open my door. I, I could do that and let them take care of my wheelchair. And they're not, maybe not big, big things, but they make a big difference in my everyday life. Uh, I, I just, and I think emotionally, I just feel lighter and stronger, I guess. Each one of these steps makes me more hopeful. Uh, I always knew that stem cells take time. And uh, I think that's a pretty good showing for six months. Uh, I, I truly believe that you have to work very hard to build up the muscles. And uh, now I'm here again, ready to, to give myself another boost to another level. I started keeping a journal, which I sent to my coordinator, Mirja Schneider, and she put it in the website. And some people have written to me that it had been inspiring for them, so I'm glad. I don't want to keep it all to myself. And I'm here again. That shows you that I'm very hopeful and I truly believe that this is the new frontier in medicine, and I'm lucky to be here.
can you just uh, tell us how you found out about Excel Center? Oh, in a very roundabout way, I was reading about some studies in Spain, uh, and uh, I, I also discovered I did not qualify by a couple of months because of my age, but I kept reading about the doctor, and I was inspired by his work, and in one of the articles, he talked about a congress he had been to, and another German doctor had shared his findings. So I look up that doctor, and that doctor uh, was uh, related to Excel Center. I'm not sure exactly how, but anyway, it was through that roundabout way of the Spanish doctor that I hooked up to, to the German doctor mm -hmm. and to Excel Center. And I was, I was very impressed with the website and the way the information was put. Uh, the preparation of all the doctors and the staff uh, and I've always known and experienced German efficiency and I was hoping it would show through in this also and my son uh, Jorge who has been with me all the time he was just as impressed as I was with the facilities the, the personnel the treatment everything and um, just one last thing, what uh, recommendations can you give to other people who are suffering uh, with ALS? I, I would say, I, first I would say I come from a family of doctors, but the medical establishment is very firm in that there are no remedies and nothing to be done. Uh, I always, there's always something to be done. Uh, just because I don't know what it is doesn't mean there is nothing to be done. Uh, be proactive, take charge of your condition, and there's a lot of quackery through, always has been, but there's a lot of new things going on outside of the medical establishment of the United States, for example, because here it is the medical doctors, highly qualified, but daring to, it's a new frontier. It's a new, when they, in America, when they said go west, all their family said, you're crazy, you're gonna get nothing. That, but they did, and those who did, who weren't afraid of maybe failing, many of them were highly successful. Yes. And, uh, it's exciting to be a pioneer. Yes. It's scary. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.